Let me know in the comments, have anybody been looking for homes, trying to buy homes? Since I got in my home, I am in almost a year ago. August will be a year. The market has changed that quick because right now you have a lot of people that's still trying to buy homes, but the interest rate's still not right. And the homes is not worth it. Everybody that I talk to that's looking at homes, they like, look, man, you got to spend damn near 400000 for a house and it's a fixer upper. You still got to put thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 into it. If you're spending that type of money, everything needs to be exactly how you want it. So the article says a persistent lack of homes for sale combined with a with strong home buying demand push home prices up in June to the highest level in a year. The total number of homes for sale in June fell by 13.6% from last June to 1.08 million units. House and inventory part house housing inventory particularly of single family homes is now the lowest for the month of June on record. Sales of previous home homes fell by 3.3% to an annual rate of 4.16 million in June. That is by the National Association of Realtors. That number of homes that the that's the number of homes that would be sold over an entire year if sales took place at the same rate every month they did in June. Everything is slowing down. Everything is completely slowing down. And I believe they're going to probably say key details. The median price for existing home in June was 410000 See, I didn't even read this article yet. And 410000 the average house. Like, that's crazy. That's expensive as house, which is the second highest price that the have recorded since the beginning in 1999. So this is the second highest in the history since they started recording this, home prices peaked last year when the median was 413000 That is crazy. Homes listed for sale remain on the market for 18 days on average. Unchanged from its previous month, last June, homes was on the market for 14 days. Sales of visits to homes are still selling, just don't have enough homes that's being listed for sale. All cash buyers made up 26% of sales. The shares of individual investors or second home buyers was about 18%. About 27% of homes were sold to first time home buyers. Really, first time home buyers are buying and investors are buying. Really, because investors got that money because cash is going to be everything. You don't want to wait for your money. You got cash. The paperwork is easier. The process easier. Everything gets to get popping a lot easier. Home prices were also near a record high, as the NARS noted, which is a couple rates high. What realtors say, it is a tough market to be a buyer in the current environment. Lawrence Young, chief economist of the National Association of Realtors, said, Young added that there were simply not enough homes for sale and that the inventory in the inventory, if invent, uh, inventory doubled, the market could easily absorb it. Buyers are still contending with multiple offers. What are they saying? Existing home sales feel more than they expected. So overall, home prices are too damn high. They just are. The, you don't have enough money. The, the competition is too tough. And now you, you're competing with investors now. So it's tough. What's your thoughts about that? Let me know if any of you guys are buying or looking for a home. 